Well, today we are going to start the life-size coffin build. Now, these coffins is what I started out doing first, and that's how I became known as the Crypt Keeper in the Oddity World. This is going to be a lighted coffin. Uh, you'll see me install lights and stuff. We'll be doing some uh, staining. Uh, drawing, painting as well, and uh, it's going to be fun. I've been waiting to do something like this for a while. This is actually replacing uh, one of the coffin displays I had in my room. So this is going to be a personal piece to me, but the first coffins I have done like this were, were full-size skeletons burned into the back of the coffins. And so this will be a dragon one. So I'm excited to start this. So what you will see in the beginning of this uh, process, I have already cut the wood out. I do not uh, mention the lengths or the angles that I have cut off the wood because the coffin industry is very competitive and Personally, my angles are different from everybody else's, and I like to keep it that way. So there will be no mention of angles or nothing like that in this video. So everybody, let's get started. Let's head into the crypt and make this coffin happen. All right, what we got here, we got the uh, some of the boards cut out. These will be, so the colors I'm going to go with, and by the way, this is what I've been using for many years now. This is the only wood stain that I ever use. It is called Unicorn Spit Stain. This is a black. Uh, it will actually make it, depending how much you use, it can make it look like uh, barn wood looking or uh, actual black. But what you do with this stuff is uh, you add water to it. It's water-based. It becomes a water-based stain. And this is actually the only stain I use because it's a great product. I'm not trying to get a sponsor or anything, but I literally, this is the only wood stain I only use anymore. This is the only stain I use. So, so we have black here. They have wonderful names too. I believe this is a Midnight... Midnight, ma Midnight Blackness. This is green. So this is actually called, where are we at here? Dragon's Belly. Imagine that. And then Unicorn Spit also makes artistic uh, special stains. I actually haven't used this yet. So this is Pearl's. Pearl Scent Staining Glaze, which is also green. So this is uh, something, this is, this is one I've never used before. And yes, it is Jasmine Scent. This is what's great about these uh, stains, that they can be used inside, and they're scented with jasmine or lemongrass. So they're actually pretty harmless. And you can use them as a... Uh, paint as well. So we're going to add some water here to the stains. And depending on how much uh, water you add, I don't know really a good ratio. If you add a lot, it becomes thinner. If you want a lighter color, if you add uh, Less, you know, it becomes a thicker color. Now this glaze, this one there, just a little bit. Now I usually use a, a, a foam brush. You can get these uh, anywhere, uh, Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Neither sponsored this video. I got these on Amazon. But anyway, so what we're going to do, what I usually do with the green, 
you can see, I don't know if you can see from that perspective, but just going through where the knots are, the, the uh, knots, when you add this stain, it makes a great effect to it. Now this being water based, it really soaks it in good. And sometimes, especially on pine wood, uh, you'll end up with uh, some sap and stuff. And just kind of get around, touch around a little bit. I'm really curious to see how this turns out. Got another coat there. You can see it's not really straight. I don't really want it to be straight. Okay, then you grab your paper towel, and then you just wipe it off. Like so. Now, as you can see, it's not, uh, what I'm trying to get at as an artist is I'm trying to not show a lot of green, but I just want like a hint of green, but this coffin will appear more black. So what we do with this here is we actually need to go clean this. All right, now we have the black. I went pretty thick on the black because I want this to be a pretty dark coffin. As you can see, I dripped a little bit there, but that's okay. Now this looks really dark wait until I wipe it off. And I won't have to worry about doing this side because that will be covered up. Alright, time for it to come off then. See, this kind of makes it like a gray. Barn yard look. Kind of what I'm looking for. I did say earlier I wanted darker.
Okay, now we're going to add this pearl green stain I've never used. I'm going to be using a paper towel to apply this because I forgot my other foam brush. You know, it does just a good enough job. It smells like, oh, it smells good. Put it over the green. This does have a little metallic in it. Uh, you'll see it in probably picture in the pictures at the end, end of the uh, end of the video series. Can't talk to me. It's okay to get this on your skin. I'm a painter, so I always have paint. Kind of dabbing it. Actually made it look more neon green. So that's kind of right. That's why I was a little neon. Well, we'll start on the other one on the other side in a sped up version.
the piece of stain. Uh, they needed to dry. It doesn't take them long to dry, but since it's the end of uh, my day, uh, we'll come back and then we'll clear cut them. What I'll do, I'll put a first coat on them. I'll show up to them real close to you. And then I will not show you me putting the two other coats on. But in between, you want to sand with 220 grit between each coat of clear. I put about three coats on. And I'll be using a satin finish. I don't like using gloss finishes, but I'll be using a satin finish. And if your hands don't look like this afterwards, you wore gloves. But I'm an artist, and I don't mind getting my hands all dirty. So, the next time we'll see you, we'll be clear coating the next day. All right. Now we're going to be doing the clear coating phase. Now a lot of people use different types of clear coat. I use Rust-Oleum's two times ultra cover matte clear or matte clear, however you want to pronounce it. Always make sure to wear a mask when applying clear coat. I have to do this now since I have respiratory problems. We'll add the uh, first coat, and I'll show you, and then I'll come back, and we'll have the clear coat all done. So we have that done. Uh, I let it set for, it says dry is 15 minutes, but I usually let it set for 45 minutes. Come back, put, we'll sand uh, 220 grit, and then we'll put the next coat on. But you won't see that part. But here is a clip I added to this video. Uh, I caught a, a certain bird in uh, slow motion. So here it is. So here we go guys, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, get the assemble process de uh, videotaped. So I was attacked by a swarm of mosquitoes. There you go, there is the full size coffin put together. It's already clear coated. Uh, if you're wondering how tall my coffin is, I'll show you here. So here we go, I am 6'7". So I would say they're about seven feet tall maybe. You can see I can actually go in it. Let me 
twin like that. This is actually a different pattern, and what I went wider with this. Uh, it's a little bit wider than usual coffins because this is a coffin for my studio. So the next video, we will do the shelves, and then we'll get the background ready. You'll see me cut that out. And yeah, maybe you'll see some uh, severe weather footage. Plus, have some bad storms tomorrow. Hopefully not too bad, like previous. But uh, hope to see you on the next video. Make sure you like this video, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification. We will see you on the next video.